another episode of Community Lens. I am Erica Jones. I am the Membership and Outreach Director here at Somerville Media Center. And we are joined in the studio with two wonderful guests who are going to be giving us a little more information about an awesome new event happening at the end of this month called the Summer Wellness Fair at the Armory. And we are going to learn a bit more about what that is, um, what to anticipate with vendors and the type of information that will be shared there and why you should get out and check it out. So hello, both Anne and Courtney. Thank hello you for for joining us today. I'm Thank you for having me. Yeah. Oh, Courtney, you're That's always fine. like a regular guest <laughs> on <know>. here. Regular <laughs> time. Welcome. <laughs> You'll be gentle. You know, we're, we're we're a good sport of a team here. Um, so let's talk about the summer wellness fair. This is um, one of the first events that the summer local first. Uh, team is behind. Yeah. Uh, why? What was the need to organize an event like this? Um, summer wellness came from conversations with our wellness professionals in a variety of um, professions, in a variety of, of options for the community members, and including uh, members of the medicinal cannabis community that wanted to give Somerville and beyond, mm -hmm. so everybody's invited. Right. Um, various options to bring health and wellness in their life. Cool. And that goes everywhere from their physical health to their mental health to their financial health. Um, and when you look at the graphic that we use to describe it, we use building blocks. And that's really the approach that we're coming, you know, with this event is putting the blocks together to give somebody a, a complete healthy life. Mm -hmm. And so we'll have it, like you mentioned. We're holistic. Holistic, yeah. very. Uh, we'll have, um, just at this confirmed already, we have Float Boston. Mm -hmm. We have More to Love Yoga with Rachel Estapa. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Navio Credit Union will be there. Excellent. Haley Adams, who's a financial advisor, will be there. Uh, Joe Welch, who will help you with your online um, financial and identification stuff, will be there. We have um, another wellness professional, Feel Fire flow. Whoa. Had to say that slowly. That's a wonderful yeah. mouthful. And that <laughs> is. And so we have, and then of course we have our awesome sponsor, Sarah Naturals. Mm -hmm. We have Medwell Health and Wellness and we have Rev Clinics who will be there and just uh, have a conversation with people and see where people are at and how they can incorporate wellness better into their lives. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and for those who don't know, Courtney is behind the the, the brains and heart uh, <laughs> behind several local first, and obviously you also have a fantastic board of directors who help I do. support you. Mm -hmm. um, so you all are putting on great events throughout the year, and I'm really happy to hear that this is one of a, a new initiative and that there's a need for it. Absolutely. Um, and and so on that concept of like there's a need for it, there's a lot of you know buzz around the recreational marijuana um, initiative, mm -hmm. and, and now it's going to be um, you know moving forward. You want to talk a little bit about that and kind of like your involvement in the event as well? Yes. Uh, so I'm here with Medwell Health and Wellness, and what we are is a group of or comprised of medical professionals, mm -hmm. cannabis professionals and operations to uh, provide Massachusetts residents with access into the medical program. So with this emerging adult use market, uh, there are many benefits in remaining a uh, medical patient as well as considering to become a medical patient, including uh, there's going to be taxes mm -hmm. up to 23 percent that adult use will be paying, um, as well as there's access to a caregiver at no cost to the patient. So wow. in the event that I'm unable to, as a medical cannabis patient, go to a dispensary or receive delivery order, I can assign a caregiver uh, to receive and or have same legal protection and possession of my medicine anywhere within the state. Wow. Um, we also have access to delivery. Um, that will not be revisited until next year. And another great thing about Massachusetts too, they implemented an institutional caregiver law. So if say my mom's in rehab for six months and she's a medical cannabis patient, then we have a law stating that that professional at the medical institution, whether it's the director of nursing, the executive director, or my mother's home health aide or something like that, they'll, they're the exception to be a caregiver on behalf of 
uh, my mother, the medical cannabis patient in the oh, program, okay. right? Yeah. Uh, so lot, lots of great benefits. That's, um, that's good information to share because I think that there's a there's a lot of multifacets to this mm-hmm. that I don't think we're going to be able to tackle in this short conversation. But it is good information for people to kind of better understand that it's not just yeah, people are going to be out there running around smoking, you know, marijuana on the streets. Like obviously, there's a lot of regulation around it, heavily regulated, heavily regulation around it to ensure that. Um, you know, there's protocol and there's, you know, right, that there's an actual system around it. Absolutely. The program has been slightly operating since 2012. It was voted on in, into from ballot in 2012 with about 60 percent of Massachusetts uh, voters saying, yes, we should provide mm-hmm. access to the use of medical marijuana. Uh, so we're excited to be here at 55 Broadway and we're excited to collaborate with Somerville Local First and bring this conversation to the mainstream, have this dialogue and uh, kind of put a nail in the coffin to reefer madness. Yeah, right. And let's mm-hmm. have some uh, a conversation. Destigmatize it. Destigmatize yeah. it, right. And the, the data is out there, the numbers are there, um, especially when it comes to, we'll get, you know, it, the conversation comes to. Um, it as an entry drug, and mm-hmm. we really would like to offer it as an exit drug to um, especially those who are dealing with chronic conditions and using pain management medicine that's just not sustainable. And I love seeing mm. veterans or those who have been on long term pain medicine finding relief with access to medical cannabis. So uh, let's have a conversation yeah. about the statistics yeah. are there, that's numbers great. don't mm-hmm. lie. So um, we're pumped to, you know, be out of the, you know, in the cannabis space, into the communities and have a a real conversation about it. Right, right. So um, so in addition to obviously you being a vendor, there's a whole breadth of kind of showcasing wellness in a holistic perspective. Absolutely. Um, And I think that's really huge. Um, It sounds like a great opportunity for people to um, have educational opportunities to learn more about, you know, like that type of, medical resource, right? And then also other things like yoga, yes. and like you said, the, some of the listing of the vendors, and the full list is on your website? Yes. Okay. We'll have the full list up on the website, we'll do a Facebook invite, and then we'll be featuring them uh, one right after the other on our Instagram. Nice. Um, I'm sure that all those handles will be showing up on the bottom of the screen, so Absolutely. that way people They're can follow. Right yep. <laughs> and, um, you know, one of the, one of the great parts about it and why some of a local first is really pushing it is because it's time to get the big corporations and the big pharma companies Mm -hmm. out of our lives Mm -hmm. Um, since i've been living here i have lost many friends and family members to opioid addiction Um, by having conversations and giving people alternatives i really think that it's it's really pulling people away from you know, the pills and the powders and the crap that the big pharma companies are shoving down people's throats Mm -hmm. and letting them know that there's other stuff out there and all they have to do is reach out to great companies like, you know, Medwell Health and Wellness, show up to this event and meet people who are in the industry that are are gonna take all the cloud and the rumor away and just give you that straight up information. I love that. Yeah, education is key when it comes to this sort of stuff. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. It's been one of those really simple uh, phrases that have just stuck with me over the years. Um, And this is great. Um, Obviously, we wanted you to come on because this is an awesome opportunity just to spread awareness. And we've done some, like, new segments and stuff just kind of, like, updating folks. Like, this was a legislation. This is what you can kind of look forward to. So this is a nice way. And hopefully we can have a follow-up conversation to talk yeah. more about um, maybe it's even worth to do like a series around, right? So so stay tuned for that information out there. Um, anything else that we want the, the folks out there to, to know about? Just, um, you know, when you walk in, it's free to the public. There's a $5 suggested donation. Um, we'll have some raffles. The Armory Cafe will be open, so you can grab something to eat. Great grab sandwiches and caffeine. So sandwiches. true. So <laughs> and true. beer, yep. if you're feeling up yeah. for it. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> grab something to eat, grab something to drink, uh, walk around, meet the vendors. Um, this is also another opportunity that if you are a vendor, you yeah. are a wellness professional, please get in touch with me, Courtney, at someofalocalfirst.org. Excellent. And um, the table pricing is very reasonable, always negotiable. 
And we just want this to be a really amazing experience for people to find wellness options that are within walking distance, mm -hmm. you know, of, of every major square here in Somerville. So we That's look forward great. to it. Cool. Wednesday, June 27th, 6 to 9, Armory. Cool. And yeah. the city of Somerville, I think, is this really, it sounds like it's very supportive of yes. this industry and also the educational component to it. So, so hopefully through this event and more conversations, we can help to destigmatize mm -hmm. exactly what is happening. Yeah. Um, cool. Awesome. Yep. Well, thank you for, for joining today. Um, and for those out there, um, all the information is on the screen. And please get out there uh, at the end of the month and support uh, the awesome vendors that are going to be at the Summer Wellness Fair. And that's it. And we're out. We'll see you soon.